。プレマバクティチャンドリカ、エイティンス。クリシナバクタ、アンガヘリ。クリシナバクタ、サンガコリ。シュラッダンビタ、シュラバナ、キルタナ。アルチャナ、スマラナ、デアナ。ナババクティ、マハギアナ。エイバクタ、エイバクティ、パラマ、カラナ。I behold the transcendental forms of Krishna's devotees. I associate with Krishna's devotees and faithfully engage in nine kinds of devotional service, like hearing, chanting. Worshipping the deity, remembering the Lord's pastimes, and meditating. And meditating on them in their company. This is the greatest knowledge and the greatest cause of devotion. Srila Vishwanatha Chakravati Padas Tika. Hearing means hearing Krishna's holy name, pastimes, and attributes with the ears. Chanting means singing about Krishna's holy name, pastimes. And attributes with the mouth. Deity worship means using rituals like nyasa and different mantras and offering different delicious articles to the deity. Recollecting or remembering. Means to have a slight mental connection with the Lord. And one kind of recollection is called meditation. Who is faithful is explained everywhere. Who is faithful is explained everywhere. Explain? Explain. Explanation. What do you say in Russian? Perhaps in every scripture is explained. Yeah, the scripture is explained. What means to be faithful? Yeah, the meaning of being faithful is 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 written in the scriptures. He will he will explain this everywhere. It is explained. It is explained everywhere. Sorry. No, not sorry. <laughs> Worship. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Just to, you know, I was interested in this one. This verse is say. Mahagyana. This knowledge is greatest knowledge. And Parama uh, Karana. Greatest cause of devotion. This was I was little bit impressed. Then why is greatest knowledge? According to Bhagavad Gita, knowledge means discriminate. Mm. Mata and spirit. Mm. And uh, uh, I forgot a little bit. And what uh, uh, is the uh, <coughs> 
ディスクリメイトクシェトラエンドクシェトラギアミンズノレッジオブファディズノレッジファディズノレッジオブオブジェクトエンドディスクリメイトオブジェクトオブノレッジディスクリシナエンドオブクリシナバクティズライクアワ
از خوردت لایک اوت دمجی اوکی اینجا ゼン。ゼン。ゼン。ゼン。ゼン。ゼン。ゼン。ゼン。ゼン。ゼン。ゼン。ゼン。ゼン。ゼン。ゼン。ゼン。ゼン。ゼン。ゼン。ゼン。
what we have to deal many person, neighbors, business, you know, business partner or business opponent, or some material previous friend or family members who are sometimes who is there favorable, sometimes not favorable to us. <laughs> of course, some devotees are very nice, nice, like a favorable, you know, situation, but some devotees may not. But here, anyway, force us to be fixed. So this is, this, this verse is actually really amazing verse. <laughs> and also last sentence, who is faithful is explained everywhere. Mm. I also, I don't understand clearly this one, but uh, if someone who is English, not so good to, uh, to clear the sentence. It's not quite English either, so that's... <laughs> you know, also this, is, this we can understand different meaning. Mm -hmm. Is it... An, uh, it's a quote. Who says it? It's, or who's, who's it? it's from Srila Vishwanatha Chakravati Pada. Yeah, it's still in the quote, uh, in the translation from it. It's okay. just before commentary of... Yeah, it's just before, yeah. This Sanskrit to say, Shuran, Shurab, Shuradam Vita Iti Sarvatoram Bayaha. I also, I could not explain this one. Anyway. No, no, I can't. Say. No, just say it, say it one more time. Knowledge is found everywhere. Shradam, Shradam Vita Iti and then Sarvatran Vaya. To be found everywhere. Yeah, so if, if someone who is faithful, then we can get knowledge. What well, we can advance in to getting knowledge or getting bhakti. <laughs> or, or someone who is a faithful person, we may find every, everywhere. Hmm? If someone is faithful, we can find everywhere and not understand this. Uh, it's, I don't know the other meaning because I my Sanskrit also anyway, very limited. Anyway, you trying to explain it. I want to understand. So, but I I think also faceless in you know, a faithful person also we can find everywhere. Ah, mm. ah. This, no. this is le this is less likely. Maybe first the meaning is there. No? If someone faces. No, so could you explain it? Say, say the English, English. English translation. Who is faithful? Is explained everywhere. Hmm? Who is faithful is explained everywhere. Yeah, I also thought it can be a double meaning, you know. Yeah, but it's I don't know. But uh, but you know, but I don't know. So anyway, so maybe you mentioned in the scripture. <laughs> but you you say that meaning. Your first what? <laughs> that might be. I can spend the morning uh, <laughs> analyzing the Sanskrit. It would take me all morning, but I'll do it. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway, right. I, I understand mm. that who is the person that has faith is mm -hmm. explained everywhere. This is ah. what I understand. Well, what is the everywhere? Everywhere means yeah. it. Every everywhere in, in the every, scripture. In every scripture. In every book. Who has yeah. a person? Yeah. The person who has faith. Uh -huh. It is who is the person mm -hmm. or how is the person who has faith is explained in every scripture. The character of this person, yeah, yeah. like or the attributes. Means the, means the face is very important. Face is important, that means the face is important too. Oh. But also no, what, it means means what means to be faithful, what the meaning of... Yeah, the that part is clear, but that the everywhere is the... Uh, yeah, the everywhere. Sadhatam in... Sarva. I mean, it means that no matter what you read, whatever, whatever, no matter what you read, you find the explanation of what faithful is. In the Vedas. Which is a strange <laughs> thing. <laughs> or, perhaps, or, or, or maybe this meaning. Maybe a faithful person can find this meaning in everywhere, in, in every scripture. Yeah. Why does it have to be scripture? Why can't it be like everywhere, like it explains itself, that if you're faithful... 
Yeah. You don't have to like prove anything. It's yeah. just mm. a story. <coughs> mm. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Like, why does it have to be scripture? Can't it be like everywhere? Like, like, uh, what it means to be faithful is just like explaining. You don't have to prove it. You don't have to explain it. You like in words. It's just mm. explained for you. Yes. Yeah. 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 Whenever you need to. Yes, yesterday yeah, I heard this example. One lady devotee has a question and ask other lady devotee. And she thought, okay, I will answer. She just opened in any place she met Bhagavad and read. And this lady devotee found her answer on the question in this occasional quotation. It seems like this. So, anyway, you know, this is definitely me. <laughs> this is, so, anyway. We can ask Gurudev also what he thinks of yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> Just about this. <laughs> also, Sanskrit, it means, you know, we can interpret different you know, way. So, anyway. Yes, continue. So, what? You can sit, you can sit here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> How to say this word? Um, worship endow, endowed? Or endowed? Endowed, yeah. So, please also correct my English because I have wow. still to learn. <laughs> so, it's so nice to So, worship endowed with faith. Mm. So, it means. Uh, given to faith. Given. Mm -hmm. so, which has faith. Mm -hmm. Sura Kanika Vyakya. In this Tripadi, it is described how to do bhajana, faithfully hearing and chanting in the company of Krishna's devotees. Krishna Bhakta Anga Heri, Krishna Bhakta Sangha Kori. Shraddha Vita Shravana Kirtana. On the strength of the associate no, on the strength of associating with Krishna's devotees, seeing their bodies and so even an ordinary person will gradually attain faith and taste. See their body and so on. And so it's really, and so on. <laughs> Can you read this sentence again? On the strengths. Yeah, it's written in Srimad Bhagavatam. I don't remember exact words, but it's written like this to, to see devotees, to touch devotees, to take away remnants. It's all perfection. It's all what? Perfection. Perfection. Yeah, perfection of life. Helps because they, bodies, it's concentrated on um, what, what they are doing every day. They practice yeah. all these moods in their bodies. This is Devotion a really, moods. This is a really magical idea. Mm. That the way we move, the way we fill space, the way we carry out ordinary things, the way we brush our teeth, <laughs> is full of bhakti. And also I heard about this. One devotee told, he did massage to senior Vaishnavas and he found by just doing this massage, he started to understand many things. Yes. yes. This is also what Gurudev said when we are singing. I don't understand what I'm singing in front of Samadhi, but I just love. Uh, and I tried to learn in the beginning, you know, with the mind and also the translation to, to really understand what they are singing. And now I stop this. And even if I don't know by heart, just to be in the flow and the devotees are supporting me. So um, I could never sing it alone, but with all together, the words re reveal in my heart automatically, and I have the feeling when I'm there that I understand something, but not with the mind. It's just a feeling. And, and Gurudev said that we will understand just by doing this naturally. Yeah, the same with Diksha Mantra, he won't tell you what they mean. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also, I mean, this comes back to the word explaining in this other line. It's explained everywhere. 
I mean, what we feel in the body, what we live in our bodies, what we express through our bodies, this is not explained. This is not at the level of explanation. So that makes me wonder about this word explain. You know, now I, 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 my understanding like this. Here, we have two energies in place. External energy, Maya, or internal energy, Yoga Maya. So if we are in the external energy, we are influenced by external energy. So if we are in internal energy, means or if we practice bhakti in good association, or if we practice bhakti in here Braja, then we are influenced by his uh, internal potency or Fradini potency. Then Radha Charan just said, our body it seems as material. <coughs> our mind it seems as material. But slowly, slowly kind of spiritualize. As an iron root in the fire. Mm. It's an example of our chest. Mm. <coughs> Then meditation become deep. <laughs> then our meditation become our spiritual body is is kind of more more establishing, more kind of appear, more clear. Our body is becoming spiritual. Mm. This yeah. So there's this very strong distinction between the good soul and the bad body. Everything we do with our bodies is bad. This is false. <laughs> Most important thing is body is not good, not bad. Our consciousness is is proper or improper. This is body using our our sense gratification, our pleasure. What this body using for our Ishta Deva's pleasure? I think these two points put down. Uh, I have a question to this. Because I heard sometimes, and if you don't touch maybe Puchari, you will contaminate him. Mm. And uh, when we were here and did the distributing of the clothes, there were many Prajwasi women on Christmas. And sometimes I felt so so deeply touched with them that we embrace each other. And I think about it. Maybe I will contaminate them, but, but I don't like to think about this because my heart is touched and then I embrace people. Or sometimes people come to me and want me to embrace and I do what I feel in this moment. Sometimes I do and sometimes I do not. But I really, this is what I feel, but I don't know what these concepts are and what is behind it and what is, is this really something we have to look for when we go, when we come together and there is a love exchange. Okay, let me a little bit, okay? Especially DT worship. According to Shastra, we need cleanliness. Cleanliness means internal should be clean, external should be clean. Especially DT worship following kind of Bhai Bhakti. <coughs> Before DT worship, we have to bathe it, bathing, snana. And after eating, we have to wash mouth and hand. After touching feet, we have to wash. If someone who is, con or if after going to toilet, big one, then we have to bathe it. If we are wearing, go to bathroom, 
then we have to wash the clothes also. To wash. Toilet with clothes is is a big one. Then we have to wash the clothes also. This is the kind of regulation of deity worship. So therefore, if someone is not or or some lady is in imperial, cannot touch this. So、uh, this is you know ru- just rule, you know. But if someone who is contaminated person is not clean person, touch, the everything contaminate. That is basic, you know, thinking. And the basic thinking is like this: shudra is very low class. Brahmana supposed to look at shudra. Brahmana supposed to touch shudra. Or Brahmana eat together with shudra is not. It is kind of forbidden. Because they are very low, in their kind of mode of kind of ignorance. So if we associate their thinking, Brahmana also affect this kind of low mode of nature or kind of some kind of. This is their idea. So, Radha Charanji say, if say Guru Devs or advanced Vaishnavas touch body or massaging, that means different aff- affect effect. Advanced Vaishnava is very pure. So, if we touch it, this purity come to us. Some, some, some love also come to us. And I think Brajabashi, they are very advanced. They don't care who is who is low class, who is just embraced by love. I have friend, Japanese friend, who lives in Braja more than thirty years. He married Indian people. Still, he she told me, hey, Jayananda, if I go to Brahman's house, they don't allow me to do many things because she's married because of Japanese. Because you know our Jap- our our body, she is Japanese. Because you know we are. Sorry, according to Shastra, someone who born outside India and outside caste means out of Varnashrama Dharma. We are like outcast. Mureccha, Yavana. This is some people is thinking still, especially Brahmin. So therefore, we went to. We went to one temple. That temple, Brahman married another foreigner, foreigners lady. Then their son cannot allow to go to enter the deity worship. I had, I'm very sad. But this is their tradition. <laughs> And if we go to Jagannath Puri, <laughs> so we desire to enter Jagannath Temple. <laughs> But if if they see Panda see, oh, you are from out of India, you are foreigner, <laughs> then we cannot enter Jagannath Temple. <laughs> But the public father is very angry in this kind of conception, <laughs> because we are spirit soul, you know. And just body is just like previous, you know, karma. And the bhakti, can anybody can do bhakti? And if we practice bhakti, we can become like Brahman. 
Because I think this is a question of qualifi <laughs> one's qualification and not of the body. <laughs> it's a question of your inner body. And the body has nothing to do with only external things. Yes, but they cannot see only, they can see only body externally. <laughs> Yeah, when we use the word contamination in the West, yeah, like we mean biological. Virus. <laughs> <laughs> and here when we say, say contamination, we're talking about spiritual. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Did you hear this very funny story from uh, Kanai last two weeks ago? Is yes. About the kitchen. You know, in the West, you go in a kitchen and there are a hundred rules. It's like writing. Yeah. But a hundred rules about what's clean and what, how to clean. In a Western kitchen. In a Western, Western kitchen. kitchen. Western Western kitchen. kitchen. Big, big, big. Yeah, there's laws and rules and regulations oh, about... In also in general, in kitchen. In, general in, kitchen. in the restaurant yeah. kitchen. Ah, oh, the restaurant. Yeah, yeah. I also yeah, yeah. Really. Very, very, very strict. And the police come, you know, their yeah. government yeah. comes. Checking. And, yeah. and you can, but then you can take anything and eat them. It's fine. You go in this kitchen. Yeah. They're, they're sitting on the floor. The pots and spoons are on the floor, dirty floor. The, shoe, the vegetables are lying on the floor. But, Spiritually, if you touch the pan with the wrong spoon, yeah. you have to throw the, the food away because it's contaminated spiritually, energetically. Yeah, right. <laughs> Quite funny comparison. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm always thinking about it because this is so powerful. The name is so powerful. Why is it possible that to touch when you are contaminated maybe a mala and contaminate the mala it's not possible to, in my thinking I'm maybe totally wrong but it's so powerful nothing can contaminate the name nothing can contaminate the deity nothing can contaminate the love or not <laughs> my simple thinking I think Janela just explained first part he's not come to the conclusion Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, sorry. <coughs> so that's true. Holy name never contaminates. If chanting purely, if our heart is pure, but uh, if our heart is uh, with material desire or kind of offense, then holy name is, is not contaminated, honestly speaking. But they come kind of in a crowd. No, so like and this kind of say a bus kind of you know kind of semblance yeah semblance like like a kind of covering crowd like you know like a sun sun never uh, semblance is the it was just scheint zu sein uh -huh. aber ah, nicht yeah. ist eine semblance <laughs> nicht eine Täuschung I don't know in German semblance how we can translate huh? Vorschein. Vorschein. Doch Täuschung sowas. Okay. Etwas, das scheint zu sein. Okay. So, like, you know, anyway, Shastra was described external thing and internal thing. And internal thing we cannot do, see. Generally speaking, you know, maybe Guru Dev may see, very advanced devotee may see inside. But generally speaking, you know, we don't see others' heart, others' intention so much. So therefore, Shastra, especially by, actually, this is deity worship is like by the Bhakti platform. So therefore, there, you know, there are kind of many rules and regulations. But also, if we enter Raga Bhakti, we can select favorable rule also. But still, externally, other people watching, especially here in Vrindavan, you know, many Brahmin watching, so therefore we have to follow certain rule and regulation. 
So therefore, especially here in India, I was experienced. I went to Radha Damodara temple many years ago. I was chanting. And then pay obeys at that time Acharya was there. Now he 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 left his body. And I just chanting with Bismarck. Then he was no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was chanting like this, and then pay pay obeisance. Then with the chanting, I I just carrying with me, and then touching the feet. Then he become correct me. No, don't touch. Don't touch it with the feet. With the feet back. Don't touch. It. Also, Guru Dev doesn't want that we touch his own back. Yes. No, Guru Dev also. You know, like, you don't like. You know, don't like because, because like you know, in West we don't care. What you know, touching the feet we can chant. You know. But this Indian culture, some strict person don't allow. No washing, washing the hand, if touching the feet, washing hand and then chant. So I think this is something we should respect the culture yeah. yes. doing these things. Because also Srila Prabhupada, when he was installing the deities in Krishna Balaram Mandir, he invited the local Brahmins to make the installation so they will accept the Mandir. Everything. Mm. So also he respected the culture. Yes. Otherwise, you know, otherwise all these temples, you know, they are doing nonsense. They are not following this rule and that. Mm. And then, you know, they they disrespect. Mm. So yes. Prabhupada was very smart. You know? mm. and, uh, and also very, very, what I say, very cautious to other Brajavasis feeling. Yes. Mm. So therefore, you know, reality and also external behavior, sometimes we have to do. Mm. Like, uh, you know, when I came here, <coughs> honestly speaking, Gurudev was, Gurudev was sannyasi. Hugging lady, you know, I was, you know, shocked. You know. <laughs> and then somebody was asking, you know, if my son, daughter come, <laughs> that father does not hug uh, or hug, uh, out of love, I, I, you know, I have to, or I, I you know, automatically, I, my feeling come like this. Oh, then I understand, oh, he is Raga Prat. But I know, you know, sometimes I brought friend, then friend, this is Sanyasi? You know, like, kind of. So, therefore, you know, kind of, many opinions there. But uh, actually, we have to see the, the kind of inside. But you know, this is very deep, you know, difficult to explain. But uh, no, no, I understand because Guru is supposed to be like a father, so we are their sons and daughters, and there is something natural, yes. And but other people may not to see like this because they see only do the rules and regulations. Rules and regulation because of the Vaidhi conception. Yes, they see he's a sannyasi. He's not supposed to touch any woman or yeah. have association mm. with any woman. Even we should not stay alone with him as a woman in his room, and he has no problem with this. Yes. Other gurus will never allow that the woman is alone with him or sleeping in his room. Yes. No? No? So anyway, you know, this He's is like all. Father, really. so anyway, kind of uh, externally many rules and regulations so there. But sometimes devotee, if sometimes, you know, kind of beyond rule and Yes, <laughs> I think when you are in Bhav Seva, then you are not anymore in Vaidhi. But also, same time, we 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 should not imitate because we are not on that level. 
You know, we can follow Guru Dev, we can follow footstep of Guru Dev, but we cannot imitate Guru Dev because we are not at the stage of Guru Dev. And we should not imitate because we should be honest with ourselves where we are at the moment and continue with our bhajan where we are. And all the other things will come naturally in due course of time. Yes. So sorry, Nakaya. Ah, switch people. So Arasi should ask. Okay. Uh, she told you to love, I am very sorry. Love is the purest what is can be acquired. If love is present, it couldn't you couldn't continue. You can't do wrong. Yeah. Is it, yeah. Um, <coughs> what is right? What is wrong? We can understand only by fixing goal. When I fix goal, when I understand what is right, what is wrong. <coughs> Externally, some uh, some action can be wrong. For example, according to local tradition, Varnashu Dharma, no possible to left uh, sannyas. Oh, Shubhra Dev did. No possible. But because impossible, he had to left sannyas. To leave the leave. sannyas. Yeah, leave sannyas. <coughs> but he told to me, I understood, but I won't be rather dicey. I want only this, I want to be complete, completely fixed in this Abhiman, no other Abhiman, Brahmanical Abhiman, Sanyasa Abhiman, no any material, uh, what to say, body consciousness. Because Varnashma is body consciousness, is cultivating body consciousness. And he told, for Radhadasi, I must left for everything like this. Externally, it seems like completely irrelig irreligious. But really, it's Paramadharma. What he did is Paramadharma, is love. Because of his goal. You know, like a <coughs> Goswami. Like a Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami. Or other Goswami, Goparva, you know. They are very aristocratic Brahmin, actually. They were threat. Because Brahman must wear threat. But when they come to Braja, they throw away. Even if see Anandas Baba, picture, he does not wear threat. Why is that? Because real Vaishnava, real Babaji, is beyond Varnashram So Sanyas is still Varnashram So Radhan Charam Ji say, this also Varnashram Dharma means material practice. And if we really attain love, then beyond the Barunasham. Like a Mahaprabhu <coughs> went to Kashi, Baroness. And he stayed Chandra Sheka and Tapana Mishra. And I, I forgot the both is, but actually, they are, or one of them, they are Shudra. <laughs> Mahaprabhu eating Shudra's place to eat. <laughs> it is forbidden, <laughs> according to me. <laughs> Mahaprabhu doesn't care. <laughs> because they are Vajnana beyond the Vajnana. <laughs> Sanatana Goswami <laughs> came from Vrindavan to Jagannath Puri. <laughs> At that time he was so much bo boy and so much bad skin disease. <laughs> and then he does not want Mahaprabhu to embrace him. <laughs> but Mahaprabhu, anyway, he did. And then, that's the reason why Sanatan wants me to want to commit to <laughs> So Mahaprabhu see, Sanatana is transcendental. His body is not material, spiritual, because of bhakti. So that can be the conception also, I think. Yeah. Okay.
So if we are practicing this path of bhakti yoga, we can say that this is transcending all the material designations. Yes. Still, still better to follow the Luden designation because of other people follow us. Yes. To give a good example. Yes, to 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 good example. Krishna is telling in Bhagavad Gita, Shreshta. Uh, what is doing Shreshta? Best amongst people, other jana, general people following him. Mahaprabhu Bhavya's reason, even he is completely transcendental, he follows rules and regulations. He, how it's written by Bhaktiv Sanya Prabhupada explained about his sannyas and his rules in sannyas, he told he must consider the local vichar, means what is people, general people thinking, how they look on him. He could not embrace, he had so much great desire to embrace Deva Dasi, who sang uh, Mangala Gita. Jayate, um, Mangla Gita. Um, and when he heard his desire was spontaneous to embrace with Devadas, but going to sh shooting, oh, it's a lady, stop, and he stopped. And after he told to Govinda, you save my life, or rise after this, I must go to, I must die. Because he, he has desire to help people. And for this, uh, for this uh, reason, he accepted sannyas. But for, if he will do his embrace uh, with lady, what other people think? What kind of sannyas he is? So Due to this, this, he this. must uh, follow these rules. <coughs> it's a local custom. <laughs> it's local rules of game. People created local rules of game. Yeah. He's completely beyond this, but yeah. he wants to be here in this game. Yeah, Due to this, he accepted some... these rules. But this is the nature, this is the nature of devotion. Yeah. That, that if, um, if the divine person, person were absolute and absolutely inaccessible, Yes. Then there would be no relation. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So Ma yes. Mahaprabhu's yes. gift is also yes. to say, yes. I can relate with the divine in each and every individual. Yes. Yes. And moreover, he said also the famous verse, Nam Vipro. So this is the his message. It's his main message because according time and circumstances like the the, the story that uh, Radha Charan has just told us about this, uh, he wanted to embrace this lady, this girl. This is according to time and circumstances, he had to follow a certain rule, but his teaching, his basic teaching, that we are not all this material designation, we are only das, das, das. Uh, distinguish, we should distinguish, I think, between the teachings that are made uh, because of some temporary circumstances and teachings that are eternal. <laughs> uh, uh, when Shemarani asked Shemarani yeah. about sannyas, when he left, he told, because Mahaprabhu told Naham Pro, he quoted this verse yeah. and asked her, I must follow this instruction of Mahaprabhu or no? <laughs> and it's, it's only for him, it's, all, it's for his followers. Ask him. Mm. Mm. So important, this point. Mm. How to make and retreat? Sorry. <laughs> this is <police. laughs> <laughs> 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 On the strength of associating with Krishna's devotees, 
seeing their bodies and so even an ordinary person will gradually attain faith and taste. <coughs> say something because if one comes to that association, he will capture the mood mm. and the feeling. And so he says, even an ordinary person will gain also that faith by the association, and that's so powerful. They feel the love and the positive energy, and yeah, even they don't know anything, but they feel. But they can catch the yeah. feeling. Yeah. So even for us, it's very important to have this sangha and association with like-minded devotees, so that we can increase also our own spiritual life. Swiftly culminating into Rati and Prima. There is such a total purity emanating from the sadhu's body that even an ordinary person who does not do any bhajana who sees, who sees him, will be affected by it and will be blessed with the gift of the extraordinary treasure of bhajana. In his comment on the Bhagavata verse, Shushrusu Shraddha Dhanasya <coughs> 1.2.16 Shrima Jiva Goswami Pada has written back in Bhakti Sandarbha paragraph 11 Okay, then it's uh, even if someone wanders through holy places like Sri Vrindavana for other mundane reasons and meets the great souls who have taken up residence there or have come there with a specific purpose of rendering service to these holy places. Serve them without any separate endeavor by seeing them, touching them, or conversing with them, like conversation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it is impossible in all respects for non-devotees to become inclined to seek out the company of the great souls and associate with them. On the strength of seeing and touching these deeply realized souls, face will arise in their conduct. <coughs> and after hearing the naturally perfect discussions of these deeply realized souls on the personality of Godhead, they also awaken the desire 
the desire to let me hear what they have to say. After hearing topics of Sri Hari from the mouth of these deeply realized souls, taste for such topics on the personality of Godhead will also arise. After hearing topics on Hari from the mouth of the great saints, one very quickly becomes successful. Hence, Lord Sri Kapiladeva told his own mother Devahuti, O oh mother, whoever attains the excellent company of the sadhus and hears from them about my glories is very fortunate. These topics... No, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. No, no. Just had to... I have this growing thought all through what you're saying that, that um, that it's not about the content of what the sadhus are saying. It's not the message. It's the connection that happens in the saying. So I think about your reading and we're listening. And you're reading words, and it's a language that we know, we understand. <laughs> and there's a content, there's a message. And it's an important message. But it's all happening because it's coming through you. Because it's coming through your mind and your heart and your breath. That's that's what's happening here the message yes but the devotion is coming through the spiritual part of the experience and this is what happens not only with santus but anyone i don't think it's such a big commitment to be a bhakta i think you have to try hard not to be a bhakta that if you have any relation with human beings that are meaningful, you cannot avoid the spiritual that, and the love that's transferred through that relation. So this interaction with sadhus is about this transfer that passes only through the heart. The book's meaningful only because it comes from a heart and through your heart and your words. Very good point. Like now the in, in computer, if you know in computer sometimes you know I am a boy, you know, like in a kind of computer you know pronounce it. <coughs> yeah, but uh, <coughs> that is <coughs> no feeling at all. So, so therefore, just listening from computer, it does not work properly, maybe. And this kind of sadhu's feeling, sadhu's love, enters the heart. If you know, I met many sadhu, and I remember this sadhu. Then, actually, I'm catching his feeling. Of course, word also catching, but the most I'm catching his feeling. And that feeling is so sweet, so so nice. I want to stay with him. This kind of desire is coming. Or I I want to be like him. That desire coming. So this is kind of say because that sadhu is love personified. Whatever you say, loving entity. 
サードズリアルラビングエンディング。だから、when I, I start hearing good David lecture or sharing, I was wondering because <coughs> previous society, I hear many class. また、モストクラスはインテレクシャルクラス。え、う、の、ん、愛の、愛レッドメニシャストラ、そう、ゼフォー、愛クッド、アンダーサン、オフィッチ、メビネクスト、ディスアイテム、ヒューリスピー。え、の、サムタイム、愛クッド、プレディクト、サムタイム。また、グルデーブズ、ケースズ、コンピューティディファレント。え、ズ、ライク、イナンディエイト、And the feeling and cover, like a, my feeling is like kind of, you know, kind of drowning in the wave of love or wave of feeling. And just like kind of, oh my god, this kind of, how to say, intoxicating. It's like Gordon s m a h a c h told the piece of wood、uh, on the wings of flowers, s h i m a t r a l i c a flowers. It's j a g a n a t h e couldn't do anything. She completely on theそうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね
エクスペクテーションマイカリキュレーションビヨンドアクションオネスリーのそうそう anyway so this I think face is most important thing in this practice in fact because you know アドシュラッダー means if if シュラッダー is not there we cannot go サドゥさんが、We cannot go バジャナクリア、We cannot go アナルタニブリティにした、And then you cannot attend プレマ。So therefore, good David's words are very interesting.Actually, Christian words, faith, hope, and love, and God, and this is very, very, actually, essence of this basic knowledge also. And for me, faith is something like opening the doors. To myself and opening the doors to my heart. When I have doubt, then there is my mind, and the doors are closed, and I check everything.、Mm-hmm. And when I get more faith, I will open and let it in, and not block and no filter and no doubt, more and more. And when the door is really open, I don't think about it. It comes directly into my heart, into my mind, into my body, into my soul. This is a picture of what I have when, when I hear face. So, and I think it, it depends also on our experience we had in, on, in our lives. Maybe in, the, in this life, maybe in other lives, if we are really, if we are open our heart quick or if we have to check. Persons with our mind. Or someone is touching, like Guru Dev is touching my heart very quick, and others not. And I cannot open my door for others where is no feeling. This is my understanding of faith. Yeah, and、uh, yesterday I talked about、uh, Shira Narayan Maharaj and、uh, Prabhupada. Honestly speaking, Maybe I have blind face. Face, blind face. Blind. Blind. I don't care other people say.、Yeah. I don't care criticizing Prabhupada, Narayan, m a h a s a b a I don't care.、Yes. I care their word, their activity. I don't care Sadhu Maharaj's you know, criticism. I don't care. This is the way you protect them, I think. You, you know,、them. I care his words.、Yes. I blindly follow. Yes. Yes. And this is love.、Mm. I, feel I think love. this is love, you know?、Mm. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you know, I cannot follow completely, you know, honestly. I'm a very bad disciple. I'm a very bad disciple. But I, I blindly follow.、Mm. Like one day, my friend told, you know, my friend's friends told g u r u d e v asking him, Oh, you have big building? I want this building. <laughs> Please give me. <laughs> Then the disciple said, Yes, g u r u d e v if you want, I give you big building. And then the devotee who lives that building is very scared. Maybe Gurudev k i c k me out. Maybe Gurudev bring other devotees in this building. Devotee completely scared. But that, that person does not care. Okay. All property is not my property. Gurudev property. If Gurudev s a y You die, I will die. This kind of faith he has. Then, three months after, Gurudev came to this person. You, you pass my exam. I don't need this building. I give it to you. I give it to you. This building, you know, I don't want. Because you pass. I, I you know. I test you what kind of faith you have. But you passed. <laughs> Then that Gurudev said, Whenever I came in this material world, you should come with me. Gurudev said like this. 
So I don't know. This is you know this is maybe <laughs> beyond beyond the kind of material kind of calculation, but the kind of reality is like a, I think this is kind of you know traditional sadhus kind of reality, kind of so strong sense. Whatever Guru Dev say, like we are reading a、uh, Brajaki Bhakta, Saint of Braja. And that time I remember one devotee, Guru Dev asking, You take care of the devotee, distribute food, make sure everybody has to take prasad. That time, hundred devotees. So he cared, but a, a few persons could not take prasad. Some, some, some misfortune. Then that devotee g o to Guru Dev. I did not get any prasad a here. What kind of you know, ashram you, and what kind of you know, service you are doing? And then Gurudev told this you don't, you don't do whatever I say. He's doing very sincerely, but you know, Gurudev said, you want to do Then decide, okay, I made a big mistake. Okay, I, I commit suicide. And he carried a stone and jumping the river.、Mm-hmm. Then Guru Dev c o m e and save him. It's some story. Ah, yes, from s e n t of r a j a From s e n t of r a j a You have a s t o r So, anyway, so this is, you know, this face is important thing, most important thing that I want to say. Because faith is, is not fixing, sanctuary, moving, then we cannot continue bhakti for a long term. Right? Because many, many problems are happening. If we practice in bhakti, maybe you know, some devotees, maybe, maybe Bhadira Rasa also. You know? So if we practice many years, then many things are happening. Sometimes unfavorable things are happening. But、uh, many people sometimes quit. But p a u p a d say, quitting the devotees association is not surprising. Some of who remain association with the devotee, that is surprising. <laughs> This is p a u p a d And in the same way, I mean, if Faith must remain mysterious. So don't be discouraged if you don't succeed in rationalizing it, in taming it, making it your own. It has to remain a mystery. It's kind of the same message. Gurudev always says that the mind is creating doubt. So that is what the mind is doing. And when we have doubt, then we are starting criticizing others. Criticizing the process, having doubt, and everything. But we should understand that this is the mind. Yeah, and the moment you have perfect faith, you will no longer know what faith is.、Mm. It will no longer be a question of faith. Because it becomes very natural. It becomes you. <laughs> and cannot、uh, give. Somebody say, Don't chant. I give you a million dollars. Please, please stop it. <laughs> We cannot stop it. <laughs> We cannot stop it. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I don't know. <laughs> so now it's, it's so beautiful. Our f i t so nice together. <laughs> These topics serve like an elixir. To the ears and the heart of the hero. <laughs> Thank you. <Sue. laughs> and as a result, one becomes more and more interested, faithful, attracted, and devoted to me. As a concomitant, 
Können Commitment. Con commit Concomitant. Concomitant. Yeah. Concomitant factor. Going with, with the same goal. Con same end. Factor to all this. All ignorance is also destroyed. This loving devotion is the highest attainment for the individual soul and the supreme goal of life, which is only available by the association and the grace of the saints. When Sri Vishnu wished to bestow a boon on Maharaja Putu, Pritu, so, yeah, <coughs> thank you, bestow a boon on Maharaja Pritu, the king said, so it's written in, in uh, Bhagavatam, Fort Kanto 20 and verse 25. I read English? Yes, English. <clears throat> oh Lord, we have forgotten about your form as the supreme truth. But now, even the air laden with drops of the nectar from your lotus feet, emanating from the mouth of the great souls, is able to restore this knowledge to us, fallen yogis. Therefore, topics on your pastimes emanating from the mouths of the great souls form the greatest means and the greatest goal. We require no benedictions other than this. <coughs> it is natural for such statements to be found in devotional scriptures like Srimad Bhagavata. But such principles are promul promulgated, 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 advanced, put forward, even in the Upanishads. Upanishads. A lot of Gyani topics are discussed in the Katopanishad, and in the end, it is established. No. And in the end, it establishes that Brahma is hard to understand, since it cannot perceive or express with the words or mind. Brahma is the form of God that corresponds to absolute reality, impersonal, everything that is. How then can we know it? This question is answered as follows. Brahma cannot be ascertain ascertained through words, the mind, the eyes, or any of the other senses. Then how can we gain knowledge of it? <coughs> the Shruti answers to this. The faithful theistic Mahapurusha will come to know it. So this is maybe 
Some devotee may not understand. Mahapurusha. Maha means great. Purusha means person or man. Usually, Mahapur, if we say Mahapurusha means Mahabhagavata or a very, very advanced sadhu. Called, we say, like uh, in India, you say Mahapurusha means very advanced sadhu. So, means this. Doesn't mean God. Hmm? Mahapurusha doesn't mean God. Usually, no. Usually, no. Usually, no. Usually no. Mahapurusha means some great personality. It's saint. But Purusha is. Purusha is two meaning. Okay. Purusha two meaning. One is soul, also super soul. But generally speaking, this Mahapurusha, if in 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 the Bhakti Sangha, if we say Mahapurusha, means generally speaking, great personality. It's sadhu. Great soul. Great soul. So that means this faithful, personal, personalist. Sadhu means bhakta, great, you know, say Uttamadikari, like a Maha Bhagavata, great devotee, great sadhu, that, that's the meaning. Yes. Because only sadhu knows Brahman or Krishna, that's the meaning. <coughs> I heard an interesting explanation. What does mean Brahman? Brahman means uh, great. Mm. Who is re really great, who has love. In the eyes of love, others also great. Means Brahman makes other Brahman, means also great. Mm. Who is really Brahman, who is a great, he makes others equal to him. Is someone who has love. Make other people. Wow! Welcome, Ramani. Oh, welcome. 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 welcome home. Come, I'll give you my chair. It's warm. It's warm in my heart. Outside is already warm. Tapaji, the heart is warm. <laughs> you can sit where? Yeah. Yeah, it's here. 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 It's not comfortable. It's yeah, but, but this is <coughs> In his comment on this mantra, Sripada Shankaracharya has written. Without the association and the grace of the theistic Mahapurushas, there is no way to discover this Brahma. The theistic, that means the personalist. Yes. Yeah, not artistic. So actually, you know, maybe I can. You know, uh, Madhuri Asaji said, this Mahapurusha sometimes called the Supreme Lord. That's also true. True. But uh, this, in this sentence, is Mahapurusha is sad. So it is firmly ascertain, ascertain, ascertained. 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 <laughs> so it is firmly ascertained by Sri Shankara in his comment. In the Universal Scripture, Srimad Bhagavad Gita, it is also said, chapter 4, verse 34, O Arjuna, the jnanis or know knowers of Scripture and the tattva dashis of the great souls that have experience with the intangible, intangible. the intangible, untouchable, <coughs> can instruct you on spiritual matters. 
Wow. This is you know this verse, na? Tabi di pranipate na. So it means ap- uh, go to approach spiritual master and then pay obeisance and uh, worship, do service, ask questions, and then. So, then this one, someone who knows the truth of Krishna can, can, can show us. Actually, the verse is, who has seen the truth? This, yeah. Who has seen the truth? Okay. True. Here, Baba experienced, you know, little bit. So, another way, but uh, mm-hmm. this Tattva Darsh is also different Tattva meaning. Yes, it has a So, how can we understand this Tattva? Brahma Tattva, Va Krishna Tattva, Radha Tattva, Va Jiva Tattva. Rasa Tattva. Which Tattva did not mention? Guru Tattva, Prema Tattva. Prema Tattva. But anyway, because, because many stages of Guru. Because Karma Yoga also Guru there. Karma Yoga is also Guru. Gyana Yoga also Guru. Ashtanga Yoga also Guru. Vaidhi Bhakti also Guru. Raganuga Bhakti has also Guru. Premika, you know, and, and so many different kind of Guru. So therefore, according to practicing yoga, this tattva may be different. But the basic things is seeing the truth. Means And Mahaprabhu said, Gurudev also now said recently, J. Krishna Tattva Beta, Sei Guru Hai. If someone who knows Krishna Tattva, that person becomes Guru. Then Gurudev said, This Krishna means not only Krishna, but also Radharani, also, also Radharani made servant, very dear servant. That also including. But this is our Raganuga interpretation. If we interpret by the interpretation, If someone who knows Krishna and Krishna servant, or maybe different way, you know, or, or maybe Lakshmi, I don't know, but uh, you know, maybe different way we may understand. Who knows Krishna become, can become, or is a guru? Yes. Uh, Actually, so, you know. Um, Uddhava says in his classes, knowing means love him. So who loves? Hmm. Yes, it's. Oh, so nice. Because Uddhava can give knowledge, real knowledge. You can know somebody if you love. Know. Uh, If you have a relation, loving relation. She might already know Krishna, how he smiles, how his bite is leaking. She knows about him everything in different situations. How he behaves in this situation, that situation. She means Krishna Tattva. Yeah. She knows Krishna. Yeah, this this also this also different to stage. <laughs> different to stage. But Uttama is saying true. Actually, the other thing is someone who has a relationship, someone who has darshan, is maybe the other sense, maybe that is the highest thing, mm-hmm. is like this. Darshan, eh? Darshan. But maybe somebody is so crazy, so foolish that even without having that 
Blessing. No? Maybe inside the false ego thinks of oh, I am little guru, no? Maybe it can happen. Eh? What is the difference between to be guru and to think uh, that I am guru? Actually, my understanding, this is my understanding. Guru is servant of his guru. But everybody we are servant, but not everybody is guru. What is the difference? Because you are guru now, you so you know. <laughs> no, I'm not a guru. I'm servant of Guru Dev. I'm not a guru yet. <laughs> I just, on behalf of Guru Dev, I'm just doing it. Somebody say you are Guru. Maybe true, but I'm not the real Guru. I'm doing on behalf of Guru Dev. So, you know, Guru means need disciple. You know, means Guru means some want to think you are Guru means need some student. Say, say everybody become qualified to be father. One sense. But the real father is someone who has a son or a daughter. Right. That is that is a father. So just like Krishna is the servant of his devotee, yeah. there is no guru who does not the devo the guru is created by the devotee. Yeah, so means, you know, say, like, if, say, someone said to approach Radhacharya, you know, I want to be your disciple, please accept me. And then Radhacharya say, okay, I will accept you. At that time, Radhacharya become good. Yes, but not because disciple. he wanted to be a, yeah. a guru. I want, but uh, no student, no disciple. Then, then you know. <laughs> you have to mark the, the disciple. Because so it means, you know, that is, I feel, you know, need some, you know, need some, some student. You know, you know, I respect you, I appreciate you, you know, by your association, I'm, yeah, I'm so much encouraging, you know, this devotion. So please accept me, please teach me. But is it enough? Hmm? Is it enough to be said to be a guru? <coughs> this Bhagavatam mentioned. Different definition of guru. One definition is someone, someone could clarify disciples' doubt. That person can become guru. Because if this app asking question, you know, then Guru always cannot answer. No, no, I don't know. And then, and what use of you know Guru? Better to go to another person. <laughs> But this is not our goal to become Guru in that sense. Because even Srila Prabhupada says, in a purport, he says, it is best to not accept any disciples at all. In okay, I tell you the truth. <laughs> you know, Guru Dev. Okay, in short, some before I was thinking from beginning, if I become sannyasi, a good. Or if I become guru, you know, my proud is very satisfying. From beginning, you know, I joined ISKCON. From beginning, I may think like this. But after that, I'm seeing many things in guru, many guru, many disciples. I was thinking, oh, better not to accept any disciple. It's safe. Because accept the disciple means accept their trouble also. I have the responsibility, you know. Then better to, you know, alone is better. Is, is, you know, because to save myself also not so easy, you know. But to speak save others, you know, is very, actually, very bad. 
someone has to do it but someone has to do it <laughs> so so therefore you know guru dev told me hey jananda you go back to japan you give harina you you become good <laughs> guru dev I have no qualification. I have no intention to do this. I have no desire now. Before I desire, but now I, I lost this desire. <laughs> yes, but you see, even Srila Prabhupada, who has thousands of disciples, he is saying it is better to not accept any disciples at all. But, you know, but then, it was a desire from his guru. Then. And then, yes, because it was the desire. And then, but you know, I desired. You know, then what can I say? Is your order? Yes. Then, then, then I have to, I have to do this. There was no test. So, but is that true? Because if you, if you imagine, you have a hundred disciples, all of it asking, hey, Guru Dev, what can I do? Guru Dev, I have, you know, money problem, what to do? I have family problem, what to do? You know, I want to stay in India, but I cannot have money, what to do? Hundred persons asking question. It's not an easy thing to it's, it's, do. It is not so easy. If you see Guru Dev, you know, 24, 7, People coming, you know, asking blessing, asking, you know, some problem. Gurudev has to take care. So, so actually, honestly speaking, it's not so e easy job. Just, you know, just from beginning thinking, oh, you know, I have this app, it's good. Because he can serve me. <laughs> you know, I can, you know, I can, you know, I can do some gratification, you know. <laughs> but actually opposite one. So then, you know, but, but somebody has to do. Because Mahaprabhu say to the, I think, Kurma Brahma. Yare de ka kareha Krishna Upadesh. Amara Agyana Guru, Hanatara Edesh. You, you become, I, I request to you, you become Guru. And you, and you, you teach Krishna's, Krishna's Bhakti, Krishna's Bhajan. Then everybody can save. And then Guru Dev say, giving Harinam is, is not harm. Not high. Harm. Harm. No harm. No danger. No danger. But giving mantra is very harm. Because some responsibility, more responsibility. Um, Janandaji, uh, I rem it's, you remind me of one statement from Harikatha. I, I heard that uh, why Shivji is the best amongst Vaishnavas. Mm. Vaishnav Natashan is from a statement from Srimad Bhagavatam because he is accepting such service which is others doesn't like at all. For example, he swallowed the poison when demigods and gods in the ocean, the poison coming, dangerous, most dangerous poison, and he swallowed. And Guru doing this. Like he is helping disciple, but what is coming from the uh, disciple? Uh, anger. Anger. <laughs> That's a situation. Because it's like a small child, you want to dress him or wash him, and he is resisting, he is crying, and even beating. <laughs> So, yes. So therefore, why Guru Dev become sick? Because of one reason is because of disciples' bad, disciple karma. Because always Guru Dev have to think, oh, how to save this disciple? You know, if I have problem, then Sadhu Maharaj or oh, Jayananda's problem, then I have to save Jayananda. Then constantly thinking problem. And it hurt his body and you know, mind, etc. 
if I, you know, if my students have problem, I always thinking, oh, how to do, what to do, how to help. Then also my, you know, my also my my also my become weak sometimes. You know, my body is effect. So therefore, Guru Dev is so merciful. Then Guru Dev once told me. You, I accept you. Then so I have to take care. Your bad, I have to accept. I have to accept what? Accept your problem. Ah, your problem. This is good. So. But the Guru Dev also doing on behalf of Guru Dev. One day Guru Dev told me, my Guru Dev gave me so much bad on my shoulder. I want to give him. <laughs> Means, you know, the disciple has to carry Guru Dev's bad. Dear sincere son, or daughter has to take responsibility of father's bad. If if father runs a company, big company, but the father become weak, old age, then son or daughter has to take care of this company, right? So similarly, we also, if we are disciple of Guru Dev, then we have to also we have to carry some amount of responsibility. I think that is that is meaning disciple. Guru Dev also take care, carry our problem, carry our thing also. You know, he he also say, I drink disciples false ego, but I. Keep this place. Cannot swallow. Cannot swallow because Radha Mohan is here. I don't want to hurt Radha Mohan. And what I understood what Guru Dev says is, the best to help him is that we do everything to purify our hearts and to be one pointed to Radha Mohan. This is what we can do for him also. Sure. Mm. Sure. She was also same time, you know, we have to help others. Because this is a desire of Radha Mohan Baba. Baba. Or this is desire of Nitai Gora. I think uh, so if possible, at first we have to save ourselves. Then if possible, help others. That is uh, I think, you know, Goranga Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, it's desire. That's my understanding. Mm -hmm. Because in Kali Yuga, with the appearance of Lord Chaitanya, they make this accessible to everyone. And they're giving Harinam to everyone. They don't make any consideration. So also we can give this to everyone who we are in touch with, who we meet, and also with the devotees who are interested, that we help each other. And it's not a big job, just invite, you know, oh, you know, this Vrindavan is a very nice place, you know, please come, that is okay. You know, Mahamantra is very nice, just to chant. Well, Gurudev Kura is so nice, please, you know, this is, this is internet. This is, you can, you know, you can hear. You know, we have Zoom class. Why don't you join? That is enough. Mm. You know, you don't need to have many students. You don't need to, you know, big, you know, take big responsibility. It's not. And before to do this, we have to be very strong inside, like you are, in your trust. Like, uh, so we need a kind of sadhana. Stability. So therefore, you know, if come here, I try to 
chant more rounds, more Gayatri, and try to more attend the class and more erotic, try to, try to do and try to fix myself. Because if I, I'm not fixing, then difficult to others fix. <laughs> That is, you know, my problem. 